Welcome to Underworld Classroom. We want to talk about soybeans and the lies we've been told about soybeans. They're not healthy for us. And I'm going to put links to everything that I discuss in here, more links than what I discuss, so you can research this for yourself. A lot of information, so I'm just going to fly with it, and I'll provide all the links. One of the ways that we, uh, that we get lied to, and the method that is used, is to report Repeat the lie at every opportunity. The victims of the lie believe it more every time they hear it. Never get into a debate, and if, comp if confronted with proof that you were lying, never argue. Instead, attack the qualifications of the person presenting the proof. It doesn't matter if the person with the proof has better qualifications than yourself. They can't prove it before the end of the interview. You can then instruct the media not to allow the whistleblower to gain any publicity or you will withdraw your advertising from them. See, money's talking. And some of the things we've been lied to about, uh, as you well know, fluoride's good for you. Uh, flu vaccines protect your family. Um, Alternative medicine doesn't work. Well, here's the soybean lie. Soybeans are the perfect protein, and we know they are safe to eat because the Oriental people have always eaten them. True health information is that soybeans are toxic until you take extreme steps to kill the toxins. The Oriental people ate fermented soybeans, which were prepared after the toxins had been destroyed. And... Monsanto doesn't bother destroying the toxins before um, production because it costs too much money and it'll dwindle profits. Now some of the soy politics. The USDA Soybean Promotion and Research Program was established by the Soybean Promotion and Research Order and is authorized by the Soybean Promotion Research and Consumer Information Act, 7 U.S.C. 6301. Dash six three one one. The whole soy story uh, in this book by uh, Kayla T. Daniel um, basically links soy to malnutrition, digestive problems, thyroid dysfunction, cognitive decline, reproductive disorders, and even heart disease and cancer. I had a medical doctor review the book, and uh, they put their seal of approval on it, saying that the information was correct. Um, soy lurks nearly in everything these days, so check your cupboards to make sure that you're not getting uh, exposed to some of this. Why is this important? Soybeans contain a chemical that inhibits trypsin, T-R-Y-P-S-I-N, which is responsible for digesting the protein in soybeans. That means that although soybeans contain a lot of protein, we can't absorb it. Fermented soybeans make the protein available. Genetic modified soy, uh, according to Monsanto's own test, soybeans that, like Roundup, have 29% less of the brain nutrient called choline and 27% more of the trypsin inhibitor than normal soybeans. That means that gene modified beans have less of the good stuff and more of the bad stuff. And this stuff causes Alzheimer's, vitamin A deficiency, hyperactivity in adolescents, and thyroid damage, thyroid uh, cancer. And how do you treat that? Radioactive iodine, which is interesting considering that's what we're trying to avoid from the nuclear fallout. Little Miss Chatterbox had a blog here that talks about and summarizes some of the uh, adverse effects of what's wrong with soy. High levels of phytic acid, this blocks mineral absorption. Uh, these phytates call malnutrition. They cause malnutrition. High levels of enzyme inhibitors, which means you can't use the protein in soy or the foods you're eating with it. Uh, hemagglutin, which is an inhibitor of oxygen uptake to your cells. Um, eating soy causes an inexplicable loss of vital minerals like copper, calcium, iron, magnesium, selenium, and zinc, even if you're getting enough of this stuff. Soy protein isolate is acid washed in aluminum. Alzheimer's. Soy eating vegetarians have a five-fold chance of uh, giving birth uh, and ha uh, to children that have birth defects. And also children that ha are fed soy formula 
have a high level of manganese, which causes brain defects. For those of you who do not know, the thyroid is a tiny gland that regulates hormones and every cellular function of the body. It is also connected with liver function, totally vital to all aspects of nutrition, detox, etc. Every single function of the body's metabolism is dependent upon the thyroid. Eating just two servings of tofu a week causes accelerated brain aging. Also, um, the long process of fermenting renders the toxins in soy neutral, so misu and tempa, T-E-M-P-E-H, and soy sauce are better options, however, they're not nutritious, they're just not toxic. It causes chromosomal damage and DNA disruption. It actually, the nitrosamines are uh, often referred to as cancer-causing chemicals. So cancer, so soy doesn't prevent cancer, it actually causes it. Vitamin D deficiency. And also the body can't use the B12 in soy. It's a complete protein, right? Wrong. Another sick lie they told us, soy is not a complete protein, it's very low in methylenin and cysteine plus lysine levels are easily destroyed. It goes on and on. I'll put all the links in the um, in the description so that you can look all this up for yourself. This is important because Monsanto uh, is a large food processing company and a lot of the stuff that we may have stored or, be, or are storing for our pole shift survival uh, may have soy in it, so check your uh, items, uh, check the links I put, verify it for yourself, and uh, be healthy at Underworld Classroom.